O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Deuteronomy Chapter 4 Now, Israel, pay attention to the statutes and ordinances I am about to teach you, so that you might live and go on to enter and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving to you. Do not add a thing to what I command you, nor subtract from it, so that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I am giving to you. You have witnessed what the Lord did at Baal Peor, how he eradicated from your midst everyone who followed Baal Peor. But you, who remained faithful to the Lord, your God, 
are still alive to this very day, every one of you. Look, I have taught you statutes and ordinances just as the Lord my God told me to do so, that you might carry them out in the land you are about to enter and possess. So, be sure to do them, because this will testify of your wise understanding to the people who will learn of these statutes and say, Indeed, this great nation is a very wise people. In fact, what other nations have a God so near to them like the Lord our God whenever we call on him? What other great nation has statutes and ordinances as just as this whole law that I am about to share with you today? Again, pay very careful attention, lest you forget the things you have seen and disregard them for the rest of your life. Instead, teach them to your children and your grandchildren. You stood before the Lord your God at Horeb, and he said to me, Assemble the people before me, that I may tell them my commands. Then they will learn to revere me all the days they live in the land, and they will instruct their children. You approached and stood at the foot of the mountain, a mountain ablaze to the sky above it, and yet dark with a thick cloud. Then the Lord spoke to you from the middle of the fire. You heard speech, but you could not see anything. Only a voice was heard. He revealed to you the covenant he has commanded you to keep, the Ten Commandments, writing them on two stone tablets. Moreover, at the same time, the Lord commanded me to teach you statutes and ordinances for you to keep in the land which you are about to enter and possess. Be very careful, then, because you sow no form at the time the Lord spoke to you at Horeb from the middle of the fire. I say this so that you will not corrupt yourselves by making an image in the form of any kind of figure. This includes the likeness of a human, male or female, any kind of land animal, any bird that flies in the sky, anything that crawls on the ground, or indeed any fish from the deep waters of the earth. When you look up at the sky and you see the sun, the moon and the stars, the whole of heavenly creation, you must not be seduced to worship and serve them, for the Lord your God has assigned them to all the people of the world. You, however, the Lord selected and brought from Egypt that iron smelting furnace to be his special people as you are today. But the Lord became angry with me because of you and vowed that I would never cross the, Lord, cross the Jordan nor enter the good land that he is about to give to you. Thus I must die here in this land. I will not cross the Jordan. But you are going over and will possess that good land. Be on your guard that you do not forget the covenant of the Lord your God that he has made with you, and that you do not make an image of any kind, just as he has forbidden you. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire. He is a jealous God. This is is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.
The First Epistle to the Corinthians, Chapter 8 With regard to food sacrificed to idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. If someone thinks he knows something, he does not yet know to the degree that he needs to know. But if someone loves God, he is known by God. And so with regard then to eating food sacrificed to idols, we know that an idol in this world is nothing and that there is no God but one. If after all there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords, and yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom are all things and for whom we live and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom are all things and through whom we live. But this knowledge is not shared by all, and some, by being accustomed to idols in former times, eat this food as an idol sacrifice, and their conscience, because it is weak, is defiled. Food will not bring us close to God. We are no worse if we do not eat, and no better if we do. But we must be careful that this liberty of ours does not become a hindrance to the weak. For if someone weak sees you who possess knowledge dining in an idol's temple, will not his conscience be strengthened to eat food offered to idols? So by your knowledge the weak brother or sister for whom Christ died will be destroyed. If you sin against your brothers and sisters in this way and wound their weak conscience, you sin against Christ. For this reason, if food causes my brother or sister to sin, I will never eat meat again, that I may not cause one of them to sin. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you we being defended from the fear of our enemies may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The collect for aid against all perils. Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and forevermore. Amen.